My name is Yusi Buddha and you are welcome. Today I want us to look at rectangular shaped buildings versus square shaped buildings. But before we go into that, I'd be very grateful if you can, you know, subscribe and then share my videos to others to also watch and benefit from it. Now, in recent times, a lot of people have um, have gone into designing um, rectangular shaped buildings uh, as against the square shaped buildings that we have known and gotten used to. Now, there are reasons why people are doing this, and there are three reasons. Now, the first one is that it's because of its aesthetic look that when you are done designing a building that is square, shaped buildings as compared to a rectangular shaped buildings you realize that these rectangular shaped buildings are much nicer and they look more beautiful and appealing to the eyes so more and more people are going into this because of the beauty that comes with it the next one is that it allows for a lot of natural lighting in the building now if there are windows on the two sides of the long side. Obviously, um, because of how the building is shaped, because of how rectangular the building is shaped, the tendency of having a lot of natural light coming into the room is very great. And of course, that would be a reason why somebody would want to um, go into that, because it would help to save and cut down your light bills, obviously. Now the third one, which is equally the most important one, is because of what is known as the area and perimeter difference. The area and perimeter difference. Now, when you are about to build, definitely we take into account the area, the perimeter, the measurements that the building is supposed to take. Now, Apart from the measurements that we take, we are also looking at a way to make sure that we maximize that small space that we are going to build on. And you have to find a way that even though you are using that small space, it will be big enough to be able to um, accommodate whatever it is that you are going to use the building for. Now, when you are doing calculation, usually when we do um, the area, we say um, area is length times the breadth. Now, this is a square shape. And with this, we have 4 by 4 being the area, which is area. So, we have 4 times 4 giving you 16 as the area of the building if we come here this is rectangular obviously the area is, is also going to be um, length times breadth and that will be 2 times 8 which are going to have 16 so, with these two um, shapes, the area for the two shapes is 16. And if we are to go by the area, we would say that the space occupied by this shape and the space occupied by this is the same according to the area. But if we use the perimeter, Perimeter is um, L times B, L plus D plus L plus B. 
That means that 4 plus 4 plus 4 and then plus 4. This is going to be 4 plus 4 plus another 4 and then 4. This will give us the same 16. But look at what happens if we do the same to this. Um, let me put it up here so that you see it much um, clearly. This shape here is rectangular. And we are just transferring the same thing here. 2 by 8. We saw earlier by the area that both the first um, shape here and the second one here have the same area, which is 16. But let's look at what the perimeter does. Now, P in this case is going to be equal to um, L plus B plus another L plus B. That would mean 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. Another 2 plus 8 is 10. That gives us 20. So the same area for this first figure, the same area we got for the 2. But when it comes to the perimeter, we have two different figures. This one got 16 as the perimeter, and then this one got 20 as the perimeter. Now that means that the, 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 the shape and the size of the second one, that's a rectangular shape, according to the perimeter, is way bigger than that of a square shape. And that is the major reason why a lot of people are going into um, rectangular shape buildings as against square shape buildings. So now you know and I'm so grateful that you made time to um, watch the video. If you have any question you want to ask or you know any clarification, you know what to do. You can comment under or uh, you know and send us a message or something. But like I said earlier in the videos, please make time, like our videos, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be the very first person to get a notification once we post a video. Thank you so much. My name is Yusuf, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.